Well, y'all, tomorrow is a really special day and exciting day. A couple of demos are going on. It's gonna be really fun to see some of this equipment because I've never seen it in person. Look what is sitting in the driveway. Oh boy. Hey guys, I'm in the ranger yet again, so that can only mean one thing, that I am on my way to go bother Zach in the field somewhere. So let's hop on over there, let's teleport over there, and go see what Blake and Zach are doing, and they can explain what's going on. We're doing it. What are our thoughts so far? Very strange. Very strange. <laughs> it's like driving a spaceship. I can see a person getting used to it, but it's a lot to learn when you first get in here. Yeah, it's a lot more than just getting in the tractor and putting in a gear and an RPM and going. Yeah, like, it would take. It some is time. cool. There's you so can tell. To do. Yeah, you can tell. Like the European tractors, they give you the option on stuff a lot more than on the tractors I've been in from here. Like, they give you access to stuff. It seems like, which. Maybe that's not a good thing. <laughs> they definitely give you a lot more to play with. Lots to mess with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, it'll definitely outpull our tractor because this field, it, there's some tight stuff out here. We're going six right now, and you were going what, like four, seven, probably? In yeah. And that was pulling pretty hard. Yeah. And we have, we could go about as fast as we want to go, I think. It's just six yeah. is plenty fast, I think. Yeah. I think what would be tough is like figuring out, like, yo, what can you do? If, is it right or not? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like, at least it gives you the option if you want to sink it in deeper. But I checked, we're going nine inches deep right now. So we're going plenty. I don't think we need to go any deeper. No. But it's doing a good job. It's just a learning curve. I do love the tracks. The tracks are definitely a lot smoother going over pivot tracks. I wish there was tracks on the front. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I wish it was quad track. <laughs> yeah. Two hours later. Well, now it looks like I'm just chasing him around. Looks like he's really enjoying this. He's gonna tell you all about it, um, about what it's doing, but let's get up next to him and I'll show you. here to the spaceship and I finally got a minute with my husband because he has been bombarded with people all day. <laughs> he is it's a fun. spectacle around town right now because this thing sticks out like a sore thumb yeah. and word is getting around that there's a spaceship in town. Which is fine but yes I have yet to run anything <laughs> by myself today. <laughs> Look at this thing. Yeah. And actually I ran this tractor like maybe an hour today. Because yeah. I've just been bouncing back and forth between this and the other tractor with the Lincoln on it. Well, how's this for an interesting view? <laughs> Definitely a little different to look at. Pretty interesting. But it's been a fun day. It's been a learning day for sure. I still don't exactly know how to run this. <laughs> other than how to just make it go back and forth like and put the, the jewel in the ground. But no, I'm just getting around. We. Uh, there was a Kloss rep that was out here today. He was great. Uh, huge thanks to Kloss for sending him out here. That was awesome. He taught me a lot. It was a lot of, a lot of information. We kind of kept it toned down just so I didn't get too overwhelmed. But I at least know the basics. I can at least make simple changes. This is unlike anything else I've ever ran. I have ran a Fent just a tiny bit, and this is super similar to that. So anyone out there that runs a Fent, this is very similar. I, no I notice a lot of similarities. And... You're gonna say it looks kind of rough in here. It is not. This is like night and day smoother than our wheel tractor. We're crossing the manure spreader pass. It's almost 90 degrees. So you're seeing the like, the this of going through the, their semi tire tracks. When you bring our wheel tractor out here, it is quite a bit worse. This thing is super smooth. The tracks on it are insanely smooth. It's actually really wild going over sprinkler tracks 
you feel the front axle kind of walk over real light and then you would never even know that yeah. the rear axle crosses it. It's it's so strange to get used to. <laughs> but I don't I don't want to get into yeah, I don't want to get into specifics because I know the absolute bare minimum. <laughs> but it is neat. You can basically this the bare minimum is you can pretty much set anything you're ever gonna do can be done on this handle. Between your speed changes, your implement functions, like right here, I'm gonna lift the implement, I'm gonna slow us down. All with this handle, which is really awesome. And you gotta be careful turning because I don't have the draw bar set just right. And you can turn the tracks into the tool I figured out earlier. But that is no fault of the tractor. That's just because I haven't taken the time to stop and move the draw bar. And I'm not going to because we're not running this for all that long. We're pulling the same tool that we pulled before with our tractor. We're averaging about two tenths of a gallon less per acre in this tractor, pulling it the same depth. I haven't touched the tool other than leveled it for this tractor. So it's pulling very similar. You said you know, the RPMs a, are way yeah. lower than a, than what we have already. Yeah, it's like, I don't. I hope it shows in the video. It's like super quiet here. I know, you can, I'm, I'm curious. You can talk really normal, have a normal conversation. And that's all because yeah, like right now we're running 1280 RPM and we're pulling a colder chisel <laughs> through the field, which is really cool. Hopefully we can get some cool shots for you of the tractor in action. Now we just gotta convince Blake to keep one of these around. <laughs> That's the next step. Did you hear that, Blake? Okay, y'all, he kicked me out. Are y'all ready to see this thing in action? I'll show you. day well how's it going everybody it's another day we're still in the Kloss tractor sadly for not much longer but I just wanted to take a minute <clears throat> go over my thoughts I'm pulling the limpkin if you can see it's doing a great job I am pulling it about six inches deep at nine miles an hour versus our 400 horse tractor at five, let's call it five inches deep at six and a half miles an hour. So this tractor definitely outpulls ours by a considerable amount. And I'm also burning probably three tenths a gallon an acre less fuel, which is pretty interesting. We brought a soil probe out and we did some probing around and we just don't think it's necessary. The, the, the hard layer of the ground is like the top three, four inches. So by going like six inches, five inches, we're going right under that and we're popping that up. And honestly, it's real nice. The probe went in the ground very easy in my in our passes, even at like five, six inches, five to six inches deep. This is insanely smooth for nine miles an hour. So really enjoying this tractor. I'm, I'm kind of liking it more as I go. It's just starting to feel more like home. The stick is starting to feel more normal. This is the same stick that's in our combine. And I've got kind of my functions all set up how I want. I love this has an auto lube on it. I'm not sure if the new deer stuff, you can do that or not, but on this, it's got an auto lube. So all of your main points are getting greased as you're running, which I love. I think that's a great idea to grease it as it's moving, you know, as it's getting worn in, as it's warm. Yeah, that's kind of my initial impressions. I don't want to get ahead of myself yet, but uh, there's a very high chance you see a limpkin on our farm here very soon. That's actually ours. So hopefully all that works out if it does you'll see one here because we have loved this this tool. It's It does some pretty amazing things. Once again, I've said it so many times, thank you so much to Brad at AgriCenter in Hutchinson, Kansas. Them guys are awesome. They've been fantastic to deal with so far. So if you have any questions, either reach out to me, reach out to Brad, and uh, yeah, we'll answer any questions you guys have. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Enjoy my last about 30 minutes to an hour in this old girl. Thank you guys. See you later. Well, y'all, there you have it. It was such a cool opportunity to see this thing in person and ride around in it. To be completely honest, it is way, way too fancy for me. As a beginner, I did not feel as though I deserved to even be inside of it. And it truly did feel like we were riding inside of a spaceship. It made me feel a little better when I heard Blake say the same exact thing after he's grown up in farm equipment because I felt like such an outsider, but it really feels like high-tech spaceship technology. And maybe, you know, it's that 
German engineering. I should know all about that because I am half German. And like Zach said, thank you again to AgriCenter. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below and we'll try our best to get back to them. We have some drama with the scammer epidemic that is happening right now. It makes me feel a little bit better to see that a lot of female creators are going through this right now, but because I am a widow, I feel like I'm more vulnerable to scammers taking advantage of that. Facebook is running rampant right now and their customer service doesn't seem to get back to you, so I don't know what to do about that. A ton of people are confused as to which account is really mine. This is my account. I'll put it on the screen and I will also link it down below so that everybody knows once and for all which account is mine. I can't even believe that I have to do this, but I guess I have to make an entire video explaining how everything works and breaking down what they're actually doing. But basically guys, I will never under any account private message any of you asking you for quote unquote help, gift cards, money, or any of that. I can't even begin to tell you how, here, I'll put it up on the screen. I can't even begin to tell you how long my block list is on my Facebook. They steal my pictures, videos, likeness, and make fake accounts impersonating me, and then they private message people asking for money. Super sad, don't fall for it. If you guys have any more questions about that, leave them down below. Every one of my real accounts will be linked down below. And in the next video, you guys are gonna see us re-nozzle an entire sprinkler. There were a lot of nozzles on, by the way, and yay, it's sprinkler time, Zach's favorite. It really is my favorite, though. I've also got some really exciting gardening updates coming up. Oh, I forgot to tell you also, guys, if you want to support the channel and go get you some merch, I, of course, always put the link down in the description. Here it is right here. Go to bunkerbranding.com. The classic I just work here shirts are available. Also, the step into my office shirts. I don't know how long those are going to be available, guys. Go grab them while you can. We also have a hoodie. You guys have seriously made some really awesome suggestions for new ideas, and I cannot wait to kind of share those with you. But for now, we're just brainstorming. Leave any ideas you have in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for 600,000 subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for always making my comment section just an awesome, positive place to be. I can't even believe. I don't even know what I did to deserve that. And I'll shut up and let you go now, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all so much. Thank you. Okay, love you. Bye.